In this video, I want to talk about my experience of installing Ubuntu 14.04 on a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm using uh, Ryan Finney's unofficial Ubuntu uh, image. I'll put a link in the description uh, to this website and this page where you can download this image. And I essentially downloaded the image and wrote it to a micro SD card. I'm using a Sony 64 gigabyte micro SD card. And it's not a super fast card, uh, so I don't know if a faster card would make a difference or not. Um, once I downloaded it, I um, pretty much went through the uh, steps on Ryan's page for resizing a partition, installing swap file, and then installing the Zubuntu desktop. And that actually took a long time to download and install all those packages. I mean, hours. But I didn't... It, I didn't need to stand next to it. I just started it and then walked away. So uh, once you do that, you reboot, it will boot into this environment. Um, and right now I'm actually on the Raspberry Pi 2 using Firefox. And I'll open another tab and open up the raspberrypi.org page. And I'm not speeding this video up at all. This is all real time. So this is not a not an optimized graphical environment. Uh, I think the best use for this would be to run server applications. Um, for instance, I'm running Myth uh, backend on this as a test. And if you're interested in doing that, I have a tutorial on installing uh, Myth backend on an Intel Nook which I'll link to in the description, and you can actually follow pretty much the same steps to do it on the Raspberry Pi. Um, performance isn't great, but it does work. Um, you may want to optimize it or do things like that. I'm not sure how to overclock this system, but um, what I'll do now is I'll reboot the machine so you can kind of see how fast it goes. With my tutorial on the Myth backend, you'd uh, pretty much want to go through the tutorial up to installing and configuring Myth backend on the Raspberry Pi 2, and then use a separate Raspberry Pi to install Kodi um, as a front end, so you're not running it all on one machine. So since I installed the graphical environment, this is going to boot into the graphical environment. When you first install it, it boots into the command line, and it actually does that rather quickly. It's okay, we're booted, so now we'll go to the menu. You can see it takes a little while to load this. Then we can open up a web browser, Firefox. As you can see, it takes a little while for this to load. So my main reason for making this video is so people can see uh, pretty much what this runs like. Uh, before they spend any time doing it themselves so they can tell if they want to uh, do this on their own Raspberry Pi. And it's still loading.
I'm going to try loading this again. There we go. Okay, well, if you have any questions about my experience with this, uh, please leave them in the comments, and uh, please visit Ryan's website, and if you want to see about that myth backend tutorial, uh, I'll link those two things in the description. If uh, you like this video, please click like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.